I don't want to call Beyonce a bad person. What I will say is that she is a victim turned victimizer. And that's very, very, very common in the music industry. Very common. Free Beyonce. She a prisoner. Now, you had said that you felt that Beyonce was a prisoner. Because I always heard their relationship was put together. And so I took them to counseling so that very early so that the counselor could help Beyonce. I was really young and, you know, I feel like it's important for, for women and men to have their goals in their own life before they can, mm -hmm. can complete someone else. New information is coming out suggesting that Diddy might allegedly be planning on exposing Jay-Z's shady dealings. And fans are now speculating that Beyonce is ready to run before everything comes crumbling down. So what exactly is going on? Free Beyonce. She a prisoner. Now, you had said that you felt that Beyonce was a singer. Because I always heard their relationship was put together. With news swirling around P. Diddy's house being raided by Homeland Security investigations, speculation is rife that Jay-Z might be in panic mode, possibly prepping a getaway plan to his secretive private island. Fans are buzzing with theories that he's gearing up to retreat to the secluded haven until the storm blows over. The two reportedly bought Stranger's Key, a small island north of Warkas Key, in the Abacos for just under $3 million. Their 360-acre private island is about half a mile wide. For years, the whereabouts of Jay-Z's private island have been shrouded in mystery. However, what we do know is that he shelled out a hefty $3 million for it. One standout feature of this enigmatic island is its airport landing strip. Spanning 360 acres, the island stretches half a mile wide and 12 miles long, boasting a natural harbor on one side and an airstrip capable of accommodating planes up to 5,000 feet in length. There is a natural harbor on the west side of the island, and the island can accommodate an airstrip of at least 5,000. But why the need for an airstrip when the island is easily accessible by boat? Well, recent events hint at a possible shift in priorities. With heightened concerns about security following the raid on his associate's house on T-charges, Jay-Z might be re-evaluating his escape routes. Perhaps that airstrip suddenly seems more indispensable. Now, it might be already too late for Jay-Z since it appears one person has already linked him to Diddy. 50 Cent has continued his attacks against Diddy following his Los Angeles and Miami homes being raided, questioning where Jay-Z was in all of this chaos. In his first post, he put the Brooklyn rapper's face on the side of a milk carton under the word missing and wrote, anybody seen J L O L Puff said the ninja ain't answering his phone. In his second post, he posted a photo of the 444 rapper waving to a camera and wrote, here is Jay-Z last reported seen waving at Puffy Jet. Anyway, as more investigations are being conducted, members of the public have unearthed new information on a person who has been mentioned as a link between Diddy and Jay. This is a lady by the name of Kathy White. Now, in case you don't know who I am talking about, Kathy White, also known as Corey or Coriana, was a model and fitness expert who also ran her own PR firm, White Label PR. She used to hang around many celebrities and she was actually close with a number of them, like Claudia Jordan and Jason Lee. In fact, Claudia Jordan, who has been described as a known home wrecker, used to join Kathy White in dating married men. And by that, I mean stinking rich married men. Kathy herself is known to have admitted that she's here for a good time, not a long time. Unless a man has a net worth of at least 50 million, she won't pay him any attention. So you can see how Jay-Z must have been the perfect match for her, even though they supposedly started dating long before he and Beyonce tied the knot. Rumors about the alleged affair between Jay-Z and Kathy sparked after Kathy and her BFF, Claudia White, were spotted at a Las Vegas nightclub partying with Jay-Z and Diddy. In fact, Jay-Z allegedly bought Kathy a $25,000 pair of Louis Vuitton shoes to wear that evening. Sources also reported that Jay was very particular about keeping the relationship low-key, so he would do things like ask her to bring a couple of friends along for a ride so it wouldn't look like they were a thing, which is what he did that evening while they were in Vegas. Jay also reportedly took Kathy on a trip to the Bellagio Casino, asking her to bring a few friends to their table. It looks like Jay was really taking care of Kathy, so much so that her friend Claudia Jordan was reportedly jealous of how Kathy always seemed to pull all the wealthier ballers and how she had over $100,000 worth of bags and $200,000 worth of shoes and how she could just randomly buy her friend a $3,000 Louis Vuitton bag. So Jay was definitely doing right by Kathy. Well, until he started seeing her as a liability. 
And that's why it's interesting that in 2020, a blind item from Crazy Days and Nights said this, A-list host model is also an actress. Our host has always stayed quiet about the death of her friend, but has become more convinced over the years that the permanent A-list rapper had her friend unalived. It just seemed too convenient that he wanted her out of the picture, and shortly after, she said that the friend ended up dead. It was then revealed that the A-list host was Claudia Jordan, Kathy's friend, and the rapper was Jay-Z. Well, as the saying goes, all that happens in the dark will eventually come to light. It didn't take long for people to start putting two and two together and figuring out that Kathy was Jay's mistress. Naturally, they started reaching out to her for comments on the situation, and about two weeks before she passed away, a major tabloid that was investigating the Jay-Z connection allegedly reached out to her. Kathy stood her ground, vehemently denying any whispers about her having an affair with Jay-Z. For many netizens, this wasn't really surprising. To them, Jay-Z seemed dead set on keeping everything under wraps. As far as they were concerned, he probably made it crystal clear to her that if she breathed a word about their fling, it would be game over. But something must have shifted for Kathy. Maybe she got tired of living a lie, or perhaps she believed Jay-Z wouldn't dare leave her hanging with a baby on the way. Either way, she finally decided enough was enough and it was time to spill the beans. Word on the street is she even reached out to Jay-Z, giving him a heads up that she was about to go public with their affair. For a price, of course. But here's where things get sketchy. Reports are swirling that the first responders to the scene of Kathy's death felt like something just wasn't right. It's like they sensed there was more to her passing than met the eye. Also, at the time the news of Kathy passing away from a brain aneurysm got out, it was still too early to know for sure that's what really happened. Besides, Kathy was young, fit, and healthy before she passed on, so for her to randomly drop dead from a brain aneurysm was just highly unlikely. A detective from the NYPD had this to say about her death. A 911 call from an apartment on 30 West 19th Street in Manhattan. An ambulance came and took Kathy because she was sick. They took her to the Beth Israel Hospital, and that's where she expired. It's too early to be speculating that an aneurysm offed her. They will be doing an autopsy later today to check out her cause of death. But someone might have given Kathy a bad drug, so they'll do a toxicology report, and we'll have to wait two weeks for that report. It's mind-boggling that despite every detective and cop involved in Kathy's case finding the circumstances suspicious, her cause of death was officially labeled as a brain aneurysm. It raises serious questions about whether someone was pulling strings to cover up the truth. And this brings us to Jay-Z. Let's delve into the timeline. Kathy passed away in early September of 2011, around the same time Beyonce revealed her pregnancy with her and Jay's first child, Blue Ivy. The timing is undeniably curious, especially given the swirl of conspiracy theories suggesting Beyoncé used a surrogate instead of carrying the baby herself. During this period, fans began speculating that Jay-Z might have orchestrated Kathy's demise to prevent any potential fallout from her sharing stories with the media that could tarnish his marriage to Beyoncé. One blog even suggested that Kathy's death stirred up unwanted attention for Jay-Z, with allegations ranging from the existence of a secret love child in Trinidad and Tobago to claims by Illuminati theorists that her demise was a sacrifice for the power couple. Adding another layer to the intrigue is the person who reignited interest in Kathy's case, Liz Crokin. Liz penned an in-depth report delving into the circumstances surrounding Kathy's death, fueling suspicions that Jay-Z played a role. According to Liz's account, she reached out to Kathy for an interview about Jay-Z, initially met with denial from Kathy regarding any connection with the rapper. However, when presented with evidence of their interactions, including photos of Kathy with Jay-Z and Puffy, Kathy allegedly hinted at being willing to spill the beans about their affair. Yet soon after, communication with Kathy abruptly ceased, and when Liz finally managed to contact one of Kathy's friends, she received the devastating news of Kathy's passing. Some of Liz Crokin's recent tweets about the situation actually brought new attention to the case. In one tweet, Liz said, As I said in a tweet the other day to Jay-Z, I was the reporter who talked to your alleged mistress right before she was unalived. I know everything. I know what you did. So go F yourself, Jay-Z. There will be justice for Kathy White. Anyway, in the midst of all the drama surrounding his buddy, Jay-Z has decided to keep things hush-hush, steering clear of any attention that might come his way. People are talking, saying he's laying low to avoid getting tangled up in the mess. And it's not just about staying quiet. Jay-Z skipped out on throwing his annual pre-Grammy bash this year. For more than 10 years, this party has been the place to be, drawing in big names from music and Hollywood. But this time around, the party didn't happen, leaving everyone scratching their heads. 
Rumor has it that Jay-Z pulled the plug on the party because of all the stuff happening with Diddy. It seems like he doesn't want to get caught up in the drama. With Diddy's recent run-in with the law, it's got everyone thinking twice about where they stand. If they can get to him, they can get to anyone, right? So Jay-Z might just be playing it safe by laying low and keeping his distance from the whole situation. Anyway, that's it for this video, folks. Bye.